Winter is four weeks away, and we still need to get the stone installed on the foundation. So it's not going as planned. This week's been full of twists and turns, not only with the build plans. So this right here, guys, is what you call builder's remorse. But with an injury we never saw coming. I think my ribs are broken. The wheels are officially in motion to get the stone project up off the ground. We spent the morning staining boards to enclose the steps. Our rental machine arrived and we have all of the material to close in two of three sides of the deck. We only have one slight inconvenience and that is that there is a shortage of concrete truck drivers. Uh, it's going about placing an order for concrete, three yards. What's the earliest date you guys have though? Ugh. They said uh, December 2nd. Hi, it's going to the place in order for concrete. The sooner the better. Nah, no, that's, I, I can't do that. You know, it's all that. Oh my goodness. All of that to say the level of work is elevated just a touch, and on top of it, the trench that we need to dig is underneath the deck. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, want to come to a tight spot. <laughs> um, change order, you know? That's what it is. There's always change with some jobs. And uh, if you want the appearance we're gonna have, we gotta do a change order. And I know just the guy to fulfill that change order. Me, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all Aaron's fault. It's all Aaron's Not fault. That's true. <laughs> Fine, Judge, we'll just put a lattice. No, okay. I've sold, okay? I'm sold. <laughs> so we gotta make sure we're plumbed, mark a few spots with spray paint, we'll get digging. Ready to do this, girl? Go. This video is sponsored by Vessi, comfortable, stylish shoes that allow you and your kids to keep exploring whether there's rain, snow, mud, or slush. We choose to soak up the moments that make life worth living. And with Vessi's 100% waterproof, snowproof shoes, our curiosity and adventure doesn't have to end where the puddles begin. Made with Dymatex, a dual climate knit which keeps you cool in the summer, warm in the winters, and dry when adventure calls. They are sustainably made using no animal byproducts, less water waste, and less material waste through the knitting process. Exterior knit layer that is waterproof, breathable, stretchy, lightweight, temperature regulating, and form fitting. Sneakers with cloud-like comfort that keep us prepared for the unexpected fall and winter weather cool in the summer and allow us to say yes to making memories with the kids. Best of all, I'm not worried about the kids getting messy because Bessies are super easy to clean. Whether that means a quick rinse in the sink or just throwing them in the washer. Well, that looks clean, but... It is clean, can you believe it? See, even Ellie's impressed. <laughs> you can't complain about being able to rinse kids' muddy shoes and have them turn out like this. Mine are next. Are you seriously gonna wash your shoes when on your feet? Yes, I am. And no, my socks are not gonna get wet. <laughs> Vessies are our go-to shoe by our door. Check them out in the link below, vessi.com for your pair of Vessi shoes. Now let's get back to the build. So this right here, guys, is what you call builder's remorse. <laughs> this is changing your plan from using one material like wood or lattice, which wouldn't require a footer, to then deciding that you actually want stone going all the way around the deck, not only the foundation, and then realizing that you do in fact need a footer in order to support all the stone that's going to be there. As you can probably see, he is having to go all around the beams that are coming out right here and the posts that are coming up working underneath that ledge while trying to keep the line straight and not angling away from the house so <laughs> he's, he's smiling at me in the background it's not a happy smile it's a yeah like this is turned out to be a little bit of a headache smile if you're lost and you're lonely go and figure out why Take a trip to your dark side Go on and have a good cry Cause we're all lonely Yeah, we're all lonely Together I want to see your sadness I want to see your sadness
want to share your sin I want to bleed your blood And I want to be let in Don't you just Don't we all just want to be together So it's not going as planned. The original plan for us to do was uh, get our bucket under the deck and get a nice straight, nice straight ditch and just pour the concrete in there, but it's not working out that way. So I'm gonna probably have to come in front of the line as in front of the deck and do a ditch and then come back and dig into that ditch to go back a little bit. And we'll have to form it up wood. So it's a little extra work. It's not going as planned, it kind of sucks, but we have no choice. So we want that stone. Want that stone. Either do, it, do it like this or do it by hand. So we'll do it like this. Can you just put lattice on? No lattice. I'm not a big fan of lattice. Good. We gotta dig some more out, but he's not too bad. So I, I took the edge of the bucket, the, the one tooth in the bucket, and started dragging and scraping, and it actually uh, started to work out the way it looks. So I'm gonna keep on hitting that and maybe get it a little better of an angle and try to start pulling more in. And once I get it in down low, I can get back to the angle I need to get it into and get my whole arm and bucket in there and just kind of pull it all back and get it all out. So. The original ditch we put in, we're roughly 30 inches down, give or take a little bit. Now we're able to just take, get that bucket in there and just start scratching the inside of that wall out and scrape it all out with uh, no issues. Leon, did you do that right there? Oh. We all know that you did this. Every single one of us yeah. knows that you did this. Yeah, you can see these little horns right here. You can see that. <laughs> They're rubbing right there with that guy right there. <laughs> so we know it was you. We can't hide it any longer, okay? But it's okay. We love you anyways, and we're going to fix it for you, okay? <laughs> we're going to have pressure treated lumber come across. It's all going to attach. Same thing we did over there. We'll have a bunch of boards come across, tie our way down, and then on top of that, we're going to get the uh, dura rock that's going to go up. And on top of the dura rock, it's going to be stone. The stone's going to come up right to underneath here. So the plan to have this lip out in front of these stones. So the stone will probably come maybe a quarter inch at most, maybe eighth inch from back behind this piece right here. Good. Let's screw it. <laughs> would, you, would you snack next to my face, dude? He's, he wants me to pet him too. Same time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here.
Uh, I'm gonna attach some boards to the concrete. So I'm gonna get a 22 inch piece, get the angles up on here also, get them screwed in, get my hammer drill out and put the angle up on the concrete and get the boards in place so we can go ahead and dura rock this entire thing. With the project going well, we continued to move forward because it was just another day. However, over the course of the next hour, Josh went from working on closing in the deck to heading down to a neighbor's to help them with a move, where he slipped, falling out of the bed of a truck and landing directly on the backside of his ribs. The severity of the fall and the pain led us to the emergency room to ensure there was no puncturing of internal organs. I think my ribs ah, ah, I think my ribs are broken. Cause I can't, it's hard to breathe out. Hard to breathe in, it hurts too. I can't I touch here, it, the entire back. I'm pretty sure they're broken. I'm trying to get you there as fast as possible. We have an extremely bumpy drive by. I'm aware. So I'm about to go very slow. So they just took Josh back for some x-rays. We're hoping that it's just maybe like some severe bruising or something like that and not some cracked ribs, but he's been in a lot of pain. It looks like it's hurting when he's, if he has to cough or if he laughs a little bit, um, inhales, exhales, moves around and twists, pretty much anything. Going over bumps when I was driving was painful, so hopefully nothing's broken. Yeah, there's no broken ribs, girl. I hope not too. Do you uh, want to explain what happened? Yeah, slip ball, ball back of the truck. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. This one's more painful. You are pinpoint tender. I would yeah. call it rib fracture. With rib fractures, there's, I mean, we don't really do much, but um, you have a lot of pain. Yeah. And think of it as, it's a spectrum, it's not, is it cracked or not? We want to be very clear that Josh is okay. Fractured ribs are extremely painful, but there is no further internal damage. And we are extremely thankful that it wasn't worse, especially considering the issues he already has with his back. Life throws you curveballs. We all know that. And this one is ours. It's a quick and difficult reminder that it's often the simple, everyday tasks that can pose unsuspecting danger. We're extremely fortunate to be healthy, able-bodied people, capable of doing the physical labor that we do. Josh will need time to heal, and I will finally be thrown in the ring to continue pushing the build forward. There's four weeks left till winter.